Welcome back to the channel. So this is chapter 3 of uh, build a REST API with Golang, Gorilla and MongoDB. So in this particular chapter we are going to create a data layer. So the MongoDB Atlas uh, account which we have created in the last chapter we are going to connect with it and we are going to add the MongoDB operations or the CRUD operation. So the agenda for this particular video is going to be that we are going to set up our project uh, directory setup. Uh, then we are going to define a schema for our company DB and then we are going to add our MongoDB operations or the basic CRUD operations. So let's get started. We'll have three folders. Uh, one is model which will going to keep all of our schema of the database. Then we have the repository which will act as a database layer. Uh, then we have the use case which will act as a business logic or all the business logic of our application will go inside the use case. Then we have our main.go which is going to execute the complete project. So let's first create a file inside the model uh, employee.go packet model and we are going to create a type of employee and uh, it's going to have three fields employee ID of a string type, uh, name and uh, department uh, just, uh, just to keep it simple. So as you can see, uh, to convert a particular struct to a JSON, uh, we always add the JSON tag. But with with, with respect to the MongoDB, uh, MongoDB don't understand JSON. It has its own format called BSON. So that tag we have to add. So with this particular employee ID, we'll convert into the employee underscore ID uh, when we'll add this BSON tag. Uh, so MongoDB will understand it. So now let's create a, a new file called employee.go inside the repository. Package repository. And uh, what we are going to follow here is like the dependency injection uh, technique. We are going to create database uh, uh, connection at once uh, during the application start. And then we are going to reuse the same connection again and again. So for that particular thing, uh, we are going to create a type called uh, employee repository okay or uh, employee repo and it's going to have a, a field called mongo collection so what it will point is like the mongodb collection which on which we want all of our operations so so it's going to be a pointer of mongo and of collection type so our first operation is going to be insert employee and it will accept a uh, employee of type uh, employee uh, schema model dot employee and it will return an interface which going to be the object id uh, created by the mongodb and another thing is called error so so the function mongo dot collection mongo collection like to access it r dot mongo collection dot insert one so this insert one will uh, return two things one is the result and the error object and it accept uh, uh, context so to keep it simple we are just going to give the context or background then another one is the document so in our case the document is the employee uh, model dot employee and then we'll just keep do the basic check of error if there is any error or not and if there is any error we'll just simply return uh, nil and the error object so we are not going to handle any uh, we are not going to add any log at this particular uh, repository layer we are going to handle all these things in the use case layer so to keep all this repository uh, uh, easy to read and then we are simply going to return the result dot inserted id so now let's create the uh, another method called find employee by id so it's going to be of type employee repo and it will accept the employee id uh, of a string type and it will return the pointer of the uh, model dot employee which is our schema and the error object so the function which we are going to use is very simple uh, called find one so for before that uh, all the the data which is present in the uh, mongodb is in the bson format so when it will access it, it will be in the BSON format. So what we have to do is like we will first convert that BSON object 
to our struct field called model dot employee. So for that we have created a variable called imp of model dot employee type, and uh, then we are going to access the find one. So r dot mongo collection dot find one uh, the context dot background. So here the uh, thing you have to keep in mind like the filter thing. So it says interface, but it accept uh, to to get anything we have to pass the filter of bson type. Okay, so bson is the uh, is the type which MongoDB accept uh, MongoDB understand. So we have to pass the bson dot d, uh, which is a structured uh, you can consider as like ordered representation of JSON like the nested JSON. So bson dot d. So it's the first curly braces is the parent one. Then the the another curly braces is the the child one like uh, it it going to be in that particular order. So it accept a key uh, which going to be our employee underscore id which we want to find and the value which is going to be our employee id then whatever it will return we will decode it into our variable m so for that we have to use dot decode and we have to send the address of our employee so now we'll just check the error if there is any error or not And return simply the uh, employee object. So now we'll create another function called find all employee. So to to get all the employee, we don't need any uh, any argument, and it will return a slice of model dot employee, and it will return the error. So so the thing is going to be very uh, straightforward. Results like whatever it will return and an error object and r dot mongo collection dot find is the one so we have to just pass the context of background and here is the interesting thing so instead of uh, uh, passing any particular uh, filter we are going to pass an empty filter so bson dot d uh, in an empty way okay so so mongodb will consider it like we want all the results uh, present in that particular collection so now is a simple basic check of uh, error. So the reason we are returning nil and error because uh, slice in Golang is of reference type. Okay. Then we'll just create a empty object uh, of model dot employee, uh, which is going to be a slice of model dot employee. And all the uh, all the uh, and all the results which MongoDB has uh, returned, we are going to decode it in the imps. So for that decoding, uh, we are going to use this dot all function, and uh, then the basic uh, error check, and we'll return all the employees. So there is some problem uh, in the in our package. So this Mongo is showing error. Okay. Okay. So there is some uh, dependencies uh, with like the recursive dependency. This Mongo is dependent on something else, so which is not installed. So to resolve this particular uh, dependency issue what we just have to do is like go mod tidy uh, so you have to run this particular command from the if you are also getting it you have to run this particular command from the 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 same directory where you have this go, go dot mod so it will uh, download all the missing dependencies and yeah it's gone so let's just finish the remaining functions so now the next one is going to be the update one update employee by id so for updation we need two things one is the employee id which we want to update and the employee com the complete employee object which we want to replace okay so model dot uh, employee 
and it will return a integer like how many ob uh, how many uh, objects it has uh, um, updated okay and the error object so going to be result simple error and r dot home collection sorry r dot home collection yeah dot update one and context background so the first field going to be the context of background the second one is the filter uh, like the which particular pattern we have to find and update so we have to find uh, bison dot d and filter is going to be the key employee id and value is going to be the our employee id employee underscore id yeah and the next field going to be like uh, once we got this match to what we have to update so we have to again give the in the same format bison dot d and uh, to set something we are going to use a keyword called dollar set which uh, mongodb understand and uh, it will set the whatever value will pass now update yeah now the basic error check and return the result return the result dot modified count so like how many documents it has updated so suppose if you update the same document again and again so that time it will return zero so the last function is going to be like uh, delete employee by id second last so delete employee by id and it will accept the employee id and return like how many ids it has uh, deleted and the error object Uh, dot mongo collection delete one context dot go context dot background sorry and the filter of bison dot d and key employee id employee underscore id and done return result dot deleted count and net so the last function is going to be the delete uh, all employee is going to be like to delete all the imp, uh, all the data from the collection so it will not accept anything it will return the dated count and the error so instead of delete one now the simply it will call the de delete many and as the it is kind of similar with uh, like find all so instead of uh, uh, a particular filter we have to pass the empty filter so now our data layer is completed so in the next video we are going to test it using testing package uh, provided by golang so we are going to write some test cases and we are also going to test with some dummy data. Uh, I hope you like this lecture. I'll see you in the next video.